I'm out in the woods again today and I just walked up on this washout. You can see where the rain has washed out this area here in the woods. I just eyeballed this bottle on top of the ground. First find of the day. I just got out here like five minutes ago. It's a pretty color to it. Still has something in there. It could be rainwater. Early 1900s. At least 1920. That's really cool. We're going to keep this one. This would be a great place to look for arrowheads. We could have washed some up. We're going to walk this wash out and see if we can find any. Have my gold pans with me and my rock pick. And we're going to do a little bit of prospecting while we're down here. There's a couple creeks on this property. and I've done a lot of digging around here over the years at the old house sites, but I've never panned for gold in the creeks. I don't see anything, but this would be an ideal place to find a arrowhead in this little washout. I'm going to keep on hiking through the woods, and I'll let you know if I find anything. This looks like a good area right here. We have a lot of gravels and big rocks piled up, so I think I'll get my sifter out and sift out some sand. Maybe we'll find some arrowheads. A lot of mosquitoes out here. Man, they're swarming all around me. Alright. So let's dig some dirt. Oh yeah, a lot of gravel. Don't mean we'll find anything, but you never know until you look. Alright. Probably some gold in this too. A little bit warm today. It's about 85 degrees out here. This dirt's a little bit moist, so it's hard to sift it as well. Bunch of rocks. Don't see any arrowheads in there. And by the way, if you do decide to sift dirt for arrowheads, be sure you're on private property with the owner's permission. I don't see any arrowheads in this batch, so we're just going to toss it out. And maybe we'll dig a different place or keep on walking. This is not really a creek, it's more of just a wash out from over the years. There's some nice creeks on this property though with uh, some really awesome bedrock exposed and we'll be sure to pan there I think later. I've located a really good area to do some sifting. We have a beautiful waterfall here. Not very big but it'd be a good place to hang out a couple thousand years ago. A lot of rocks in here. I was digging in this little gravel bar. Good sign of gold because there's quartz everywhere. We're going to sift out some of this material and hopefully we'll get an arrowhead. That'd be nice. I've never found one sifting. So I'm going to get to digging and dig up this whole place and I'll pan for gold as well. Let's go find something.
I've worked my way downstream because I wasn't finding much around that waterfall. And I figured I'd do some digging around this huge rock. And I just spotted this huge spider. See it right there? It blends in. Maybe one of those jumping spiders. I don't know. I'm not getting any closer. A lot of dangerous stuff out here. This looks like a cool place. Let's see if I can make it through the water. I don't have my felt on my boots. So it's easy to slip and fall. I need to put them on there though. These boots I'm wearing are called corkers. And you can take the bottom and unhook it and pull the whole bottoms off and replace them with felt or studded with spikes. These are just little rubber bottoms so they don't do too well in the rocks. I'm hoping to find some like old pottery or some type of sign that there was a camp around here. These are some pretty big hills. Looks like we're in the jungle. Here we go. Here's a nice rock pile. Let's see if there's anything over here. I don't see anything. Just made my first good discovery of the day. Check it out. It's not an arrowhead, but it's a little crystal. That's really neat. Bunch of quartz rocks. Let me show you where I was digging. I dug down about a foot and a half and took all the dirt in the bottom and put it in my screen. You can see the hole starting to cave in. But I figured that's the older layer. There's probably gold in all of this, so I'll get my pan out and do some test panning through this material and see if we have any color. You never know. Just eyeballed the first snake of the year. It's a black snake. It's over here on the bank. barely see it. These are good. These keep away the poisonous snakes. We'll let them be. Oh, wow! Man! That right there is the dream dredging spot. I'd love to put my dredge in here and dredge for gold. I bet that hole's seven foot deep. This is awesome. You'd think there'd be a house site near here. Never seen this place before and I've been walking these woods for years. Maybe up on that hill over there. We'll have to explore around a little bit and come back with my detector one day. I bet there's some Native American artifacts in that hole, no doubt. Probably some snapping turtles and snakes as well we're gonna do some digging around here it's just big rocks everywhere let's walk up over here could be a cave in this hillside. Look 
at this little trench right here. It's weird. Here's one of the old house sites that I dug a couple years ago. Just walked up on it. The creek is right down that hill. This place is about early 1800s maybe. I dug a Confederate script infantry button here. Script eye button. And um, some old flat buttons. And I did find an 1853 seated half dime at this site. This is all that's left. It's just a big rock pile where the chimney was in the fireplace. Pretty cool. Up on this little hilltop. Too bad I don't have my detector with me, but I'm sure we can find something if we just dug around. Well, I'm heading on back to the truck now. It's about 6.30 and I've been digging for about four hours out here and haven't really found that much, but it's been a great day. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'll probably come back out here tomorrow. I'm going to bring my Ace 400 and take it back to some of these old house sites and see if we can pull out anything else that I missed with my AT Pro and AT Gold. Been out here about 30 minutes today detecting at this site. And I wasn't finding too much and I was getting ready to head on to another house site out here. And I got a really good signal showing up as a 75 and it's a coin. Right down in the bottom of the hole. I didn't expect that. It could just be a wheat penny, but I have to wipe it off some. I hope it's Indian head. It'd be nice. It's hard to tell. Uh, it may be an Indian head penny. I don't know. We'll have to clean it up and uh, see if we can get anything off of it. Well, I cleaned it up a little bit. And it is an Indian head penny. Not sure the date on it. It's really corroded. That's a great find. I am back at the house. Here's all my finds I found today. As you can tell, there's nothing here. That's because I lost the Indian head penny. I don't know what I did with it. I brought it back to the house, I cleaned it up, and apparently I misplaced it or hid it somewhere to where I'd never find it again. And uh, So I don't have it. Sorry about that. But it's a little reminder that even though we go out and we try to find all these cool things in the ground, it's not actually the real treasure. Our real treasure should be Christ and His kingdom, serving the Lord. And we should always remind ourselves of that. So anyways, sorry I didn't have no finds to show you. I did dig some trash, but the Indian head was the only cool thing I found from that site. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and God bless.